What is going on YouTube? Hayden back making another Random Crypto TV episode. In today's video, we're going to be looking at XRP as well as Bitcoin, followed up by Ethereum and Litecoin as well. As you guys know, we can clearly see uh, on the charts right now, we're seeing a major bearish breakdown to the downside within Bitcoin as well as Ethereum as well. Something that we were kind of anticipating didn't necessarily go exactly according to plan, but it is something to consider. This would have been a great short from 8,500 to 8,000, but because we did miss out on that run, there's still some things we do need to discuss and talk about due to the fact that we're coming in very close to the bottom on Bitcoin. This is getting very, very, very close to being the you know, the end of what the fourth bearish candle is holding right now, which is pretty much showing me that we're going to be preparing for a major break in volume to, and a major swing to the upside, not only within Bitcoin, but XRP following that same movement, because we've seen uh, similarities within XRP's trading as Bitcoin's trading happens as well. So we're also going to talk about shorting this cryptocurrency because I do think that's fairly, fairly, fairly useful of information. Otherwise, if you guys are new to the channel, definitely make sure to subscribe, turn on post notifications, leave a trend thumbs up if you like the content and remember we do a giveaway of free $25 Bitcoin every single Friday all you have to do to enter is comment hashtag crypto TV down below as well as subscribe to the channel otherwise guys let's jump into today's video so I don't even know where to begin because I'm so pumped and excited to see this retracement happening. Now, unfortunately, I didn't get the opportunity to short this coin because it started happening towards the end of the day, almost at night. But we can prepare for what is going to be an even bigger move, which is a major swing to the upside or correction within Bitcoin and XRP. Notice the past couple of videos, we've pretty much been trying to point out where the bottom is on XRP as well as Bitcoin, specifically trying to find the lowest point that we need to travel to. And you'll notice the past couple of days, you can see we're slowly and gradually filling in this major descending fractal. It's slowly but surely coming together. And now we've eventually almost touch that point. So I want to continue off that basis to discuss with you guys what it is that we're looking at. You can see coins are down, markets are falling, things are falling very, very, very much so. XRP, Bitcoin, Ethereum, pretty much in sync all in all. Litecoin kind of similar, uh, but as we know when Bitcoin retraces, all of the cryptos retrace. Everything is bottoming out, which is good because we're looking for this consolidation. We're looking to get into oversold before we see a pop in the upside direction. Now consider we do look good. I mean, notice back in the past right here, we had this major retracement. Now this is a little bit different, I'm noticing. It's slightly off from the fractal. I mean, what could we do? Could we move it down? I don't think that's as accurate. I don't think this is what we're looking for, considering we've pretty much always been trending on this line. So that's why I'm, I've been using this as the main fractal right here. And then we did kind of break bearish out of this. Now, there are so many different directions to look at. I mean, we are hitting oversold on the four hours, similar to when that previous point of breakout was. You can see before shooting up. The problem was back on October 23rd. Notice how on the daily we were oversold as well. We touched, tested over third, oversold on the 23rd. So consider that we're not there yet. So there may be opportunities for slightly more retracement. What am I referring to? This basically is opening us up for a potential big move on the MACD. The farther we get, the wider we get gives us more potential for a bigger break to the upside, which is what I'm anticipating. Now, the interesting part is we finally decided to get back inside of what appears to be a massive symmetrical triangle. Notice in purple, this massive symmetrical triangle is forming. I did draw in a couple of supports, which could be a descending triangle and you can see this purple sideways line as well as this orange does indicate some sort of descending triangle. I don't think that's what it is though. I'd be very shocked if we just massively tumble down here. I don't think we have that volume yet, but I'm getting very, very, very close to buying in on Dudex. Um, Dudex basically as a way to short the crypto and buy long. So I'll discuss that as well. Um, otherwise, before we go on, I just want to give a huge shout out to everybody signing up for my Patreon in anticipation for this major break. I've been sharing news pretty much every other day, if not every day in regards to when my next buying opportunity and selling opportunity is. It also gives you opportunities to see these charts before they actually appear 
on my YouTube channel. So huge shout out to everybody who's signing up. Our goal is 100 uh, patrons, and then we'll do some crazy stuff or do some giveaway, some big giveaway. But um, definitely make sure to check that out. It should be the second link in the description. Just click on that and then choose which one you want. There's different perks. I send uh, live updating charts so you guys get access to these charts before people on YouTube do. It's a huge support to the channel as well. So, you know, thank you and thank you for all who are going to sign up to that. Now, continuing on from this basis, we're, we're trending downwards. So once again, I'm waiting for that consolidation and that retestment of the bottom oversold line. The second we hit 30 on the RSI, being that we're now 34, yesterday we were up to like 43. Now we're at 35, 34. We now need to go four more points on the RSI to become and hit oversold. Once we hit oversold, which may be literally around the corner, what did I just do? Okay, that was weird. Once we hit oversold, that's when I'm expecting that breakout to come. That's when I'm expecting that retracement to happen. Now, it's interesting because we fell down to what appears to be a previous support right here where we have had prices in the past, but I'm noticing that we're not seeing potentially a retracement lower. I don't think we have that in us to head even lower down to $7,500. So I do think that we may hit the bottom in the next couple of days, we may see, if not today, some sort of small retracement down to here, maybe 7,800, that would ultimately send us lower on the RSI, maybe down into the oversold, but it wouldn't be a long-term thing. The second it would go down into the oversold as a, a candle, it would wick back up and then potentially see that break out. But I do think it's within the next couple of days, if not today. That's what I'm being so you know anxious about. You know, we see that I'd probably say we're right about here. We had two candles right here, two candles. Then we started to have this retracement down lower before shooting up. You notice that um, every time before we see any sort of major pop in these previous fractals, we seem to have one really big wick candle downwards. I'm going to just extend this out. But you see that every candle we've had previously tends to have a really big wick before shooting up. So here's the really big wick. So what we're waiting for right now is if not this being the oversold level, the next opportunity would be ever so slightly lower. Maybe down to 78. It's It might not be worth buying at that level, try to catch the run even lower. I mean, it is something to consider if you wanna put a buy-in at maybe $7,800, maybe a little bit lower, but the second we test oversold, that's what I'm anticipating that run to happen. We could fall to 7,500, that's my consideration, but I don't think it's going to happen because we're so low on the RSI right now. We're almost having some sort of like descending triangle form. You can see on the daily RSI right here. So that's why I'm gonna hold off just today on buying in, but I want to stress, this is literally a round the corner. If not today, we're going to see this tomorrow or the following. So get your buy-ins ready, guys. I highly recommend you download Dudex ASAP. It's the first link in the description. This will allow you to leverage trade off a position. You may not have a lot of money, so consider this to be an opportunity. If you only put in $1,000 and you um, leverage it 10 times, that's $10,000 in terms of possible you know, money that you could make off of Bitcoin if you do end up cashing out and if you do sell at the upside and not, you know, get yourself into a negative balance. It's all risk, but it's very, very easy to use. It's very simple. It's as simple as, and when I do decide to buy in, I'll obviously screen record this and share with you guys how it is that I'm doing it. And I'll share with you guys on Patreon as well. But it's as simply as waiting for that opportunity to buy in. You see the price you want to buy in, eight, eight, 82, you click buy in, then you set the quantity, the amount you'd like to buy. It'll open your position right here. The second you want to close your position, you click close and bam, you've cashed out if you're planning on shorting or swinging uh, to the upside. Now consider it's just as simple as moving this over to where you like to leverage. It's that simple, clicking over there, clicking over here. That's as how easy it could be. So it's very easy to use this website. I highly recommend, you know, if you're not fully familiar with this, it's very simple. Put in, you can put in 20 bucks and play around with it so that you understand how the website works in anticipation for when this breakout does decide to happen. Uh, Litecoin, I mean, Ethereum's also cashing out. It's breaking way bearish, falling now into the oversold line from where it was previously, hitting an extremely strong resistance right here. As we know, XRP following the exact same pattern. So things are getting very close for that breakout to happen, guys. I'd like to look at Litecoin on the four hour. Haven't done that though. You can see it's a very small minimal retracement. Obviously we're now, everything is in oversold, which is why it's it's kind of making me think like maybe I should be buying in. 
but it's only the four hour and the four hour can swing in only a couple of minutes. So there's no real reason for me to jump on that bag wagon just yet, considering we have plenty of room to head lower, 40 on the RSI. I'm waiting for the daily to cash out and be lower. And also noticing major resistance on Litecoin. There's probably no room for it to go that much higher. Also, check out this Bybit shirt they sent me, Bybit Games. I thought that was pretty cool. I wanted to wear it and show you guys. But my main focus right now is Bitcoin. It's trying to figure out if Bitcoin is ready this second or if it's going to head down lower. And based on previous history, they said every time we broke bullish, which was right here, which was right here, which was right here. We were testing oversold. We were. Every single time we were testing oversold. Now consider we were inside some sort of descending fractal that we're not in right now. Unless we like extend this downwards, like I guess we could do something like this. I don't know if I would consider this to be the descending fractal. It is still possible. This actually looks a little more realistic than what we had before. It could be something like this. That looks kind of more interesting. This does seem to hold that resistance downwards. This seems to hold that support until we broke bearish right here. So that's very interesting, but I think I'm going to wait in terms of when to buy in due to the fact that we're not yet oversold. The second we test oversold, which could literally be today, if not tomorrow, that's what I'm buying in in anticipation for this rally back to the upside. We're getting very close. Don't get me wrong. We're getting very close, but being the fact that we're not oversold on that daily makes me worry. So that's why I'm not gonna buy in just yet. Uh, you also notice we could see that consolidation. It is very easy for us to see Bitcoin's four hour come back outside of being oversold as simply as just trending sideways, consolidating here. It could even move up to 8,100 and we could just float around inside here and then potentially head lower. Extend this out to potentially 76, the end of, uh, beginning of December, that we could see that rally to the upside. So there's a, a ton of different op possibilities and opportunities. You can see this major bearish fractal forming right here. They tend to break bullish, but we have to keep a very close eye. That's why I didn't, you know, recommend you guys to buy in just yet. I mean, now that I just move the charts ever so slightly, this would have been a great opportunity to short. I didn't notice this at first. And that's what's gonna happen. But you can see with this chart moved like this, you can clearly see resistance, 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 resistance. We hit the top and I told you guys, once we hit the top and we fall bearish, that's a great time to be shorting the coin before we see that blast off. But it's just weird to see us hit the top and then retrace lower. It does make me consider that we could be seeing that, that, that blast off fairly soon. It's definitely an interesting ride. You know, we also got to consider that if we did buy in even up here, we shot up much higher than where we were previously, which is another opportunity for us to break in. Even if we don't get maximum gains, we're still in the run to make a ton of profit. So there's a ton of different possibilities. I'm kind of just speaking to you guys out loud. Hopefully you guys can understand and follow along with what's going to happen. But I do plan on buying in very, very, very soon. This seems like the end of what could be the bull run you can see previously this one was about 15 days long and this one is about 25 24 days long so it's definitely longer than all the previous ones we're getting ready for what could be extremely big you know extremely big rally I mean, it's literally just the fact that we're not yet testing oversold, which is why I'm so weary on buying in this second, because I don't want to buy in at 8,000 and then see us immediately fall to 7,600 when I could have shorted. But I do think once we get lower and we could see that retracement lower because we're just not there yet, I'm expecting to see that run and that rally up. So we may see another day. We may retest bearish you know, or oversold very soon. And then we could see that rally upwards. Otherwise, guys, uh, that was a long, long, long talk. Um, but that is going to wrap up today's video, guys. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe, turn on post notifications, leave a giant thumbs up, and I will see you in tomorrow's video. Peace. <laughs>